What's up, Internet? John here from NextGen. Welcome to another edition of Inside Out. In this video, we'll break down mini toggle switches and slide switches. Toggle switches can work in different ways depending on what options are built into the switch. Toggle switches use a lever to open or close the circuit. The internal mechanisms are very similar to that of a stomp switch. They are also available in a wide variety of options. Let's open one up and see how it works. We'll begin by first removing the nuts and washers. The entire bushing can be unclipped and removed to allow access to the internals of the switch. The lever, also called an actuator, is anchored inside the bushing and flips from one side to the other. Inside the actuator is a spring that depresses a pin, also called a plunger, that pushes down on the movable contacts underneath. The movable contacts, called a pole, sit firmly inside the main housing and move between a set of fixed contacts, called a throw. In this particular case, we've opened up a dual pole, dual throw, on, off, on switch. These fixed contacts are the lugs that we see on the bottom of the switch that we would solder to. The shapes of both sets of contacts will vary depending on the type of switch. For most guitar applications, the commonly used types are single pole, single throw, single pole, dual throw, and dual pole, dual throw. These typically come in single pole, single throw, on, off, single pole, dual throw, on, on, and on, off, on, dual pole, dual throw, on, 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 and on, off, on. Other switches, less commonly used in guitars, include triple pole, dual throw, on, on, and on, off, on, and quadruple pole, dual throw, in on, 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 off, on, and many other variations. All of these switches can also come with some of the on positions being momentary. There are numerous other types of switches, but we won't touch on those. The mechanical parts of the switch are coated with a non-conductive grease. This is to keep the switch functioning and well lubricated to help maintain longevity and reduce wear on the mechanism. The grease is not applied underneath the contacts where the connection is necessary. To review, we have the housing, the movable contacts, the plunger and spring, which sit inside the lever, which is anchored inside the bushing, and finally, the nuts and washers. Slide switches have a similar application, but aren't as versatile as toggle switches. These can come in single pole or dual pole, two and three position. They are made with a wafer that the contacts mount to, and the actuator slides across the top of them to connect two at a time. Here are a few examples of how these switches can be used. This is a single pole, single throw switch to toggle the bridge humbucker. Here is a dual pole, dual throw three-way switch to select between magnetic pickups, piezos, and a blend of the two in the middle position. This is an example of mini slide switches for the humbucker. One is a series parallel switch and the other is a phase switch. These switches very rarely fail at the mechanical level. Most commonly, failure occurs as a result of damage to the switch due to improper soldering technique. The most common failure occurs when a soldering iron is held too long against the lugs and the buildup of heat melts the non-conductive grease inside the switch and it ends up coating all the contacts. That can leave you with intermittent signal issues or no signal at all. In this case, you can open up the switch, clean all the contacts with isopropyl alcohol, and reapply new non-conductive lubricant to the non-conducting parts. Just make sure you don't get any on the parts that need to make a connection. Less commonly, a soldering iron held too long against the contacts while set at too high of a temperature can heat the plastic enough that it will melt and the lugs will move out of place, at which point it would be recommended to just replace the switch. These maintenance tips also apply to stomp switches like the ones mentioned in our previous Inside Out video. Check that one out to see a breakdown of a 3PDT stomp switch with a built-in LED ring. Thanks for watching! That concludes this edition of Inside Out. I hope that gives you a better understanding of how these switches work. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video, leave us a comment and let us know what else you'd like to see us break down in this way. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future videos. Mm -hmm.